over the age of 35, stop everything you're doing right now. After a lifetime of eating fatty foods, you may run the risks of a stroke or heart attack due to plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. To learn how you can reduce your risks, visit youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856 today. This may be a life-changing call for you or someone you love. Thank you, and we hope to hear from you. We're going to send you over there to learn. We're going to send you over there to do that. You know what I'm saying? And, and we're going to build you up the right way because right now it ain't it ain't the time for you. So mm. even, even like with falling out with friends or family and shit, you know, yeah. I still try to make the best of it. You feel me? Regardless of what a person talking about or saying directly to me, I know what you really feel, you know? And if you know my heart, you know I got you. All right. Sure, it's funny, man. Looking at you and hearing you talk, you sound like Little Vaughn. I mean, King Vaughn. Sorry, and you look like King Vaughn as well. Yeah. That's your cousin, <laughs> right? Yeah, um, say that. yeah, yeah, it's it's, yeah. It's crazy, but um, how did that affect you, man? You know, it's been some time since we yeah, all. That was my dog, to... you feel me? Yeah, how you been dealing <laughs> with that? So like... <clears throat> I just, I just like you know the time I was popping and shit, like just. Jumping off popping to say I had just like met Vaughn and shit. You feel me? Wow. This shit was crazy. Like we was rocking out and shit, throwing ideas back and forth and shit. And then I'm sitting with my uncle and shit. He like, who that is on the phone? I said it's Vaughn. He said, you know that's your cousin. Damn. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> oh, so, so me and phone him on the phone, like, phone you my cousin, you know, such, 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 such. I ain't trying to put no names out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hell yeah, them my people. I'm like, them my people on phone them. He, oh, we cousin, I'll show you, you feel me? You know how that go like that. So, so we had just figured that shit out, you know what I'm saying, through my pops and my uncle them, you know? That's dope. So, I mean, but he always like... showed me love, you know what I'm saying? He always showed me love, you know? I always post my videos, you feel me? I always show me support, you feel me? Or even if I like go on a rant on Twitter or something, like go crazy for a call mm -hmm. me, like, hey, fo, don't do that, fo. Like, call me if you feel like some type of way or something, you feel me? Like, you feel me? He was a real homie to me, you know? Outside of music, you know what I'm saying? And in the streets, you feel me? Like, if I ever needed something, I'll ever outside like you feel me shorty in the a he gonna all right i'm gonna send who over there to do that you feel me uh -huh. same thing you feel me like I always made sure we was safe you know yeah and we and we was down here with uh with his auntie and uncle them you feel me like they even showed me love you feel me like hey those folks help me move into my new crib all type of shit you feel me like, that's what's up we was locked in you know yeah do you as a hip hop artist in this game, do you feel like the the game of hip hop is a dangerous game to be in? We hear a lot of the OG saying that hip hop is dangerous now. It's a dangerous thing to be in as a young rapper in a hip hop. Yeah, game. because you become a target. Yeah, you become a, you become a target to so not even the niggas in your neighborhood, but other neighborhoods too. You feel me? And depending on who you rock with and show love with too, they already associate you a certain type of way. You know? Yeah. But. I don't pay on that man and none of that shit. I don't care about none of that. I, I stay in my lane, you feel me? I do what I do. I feel how I feel, you feel me? Because I know who I am, you know? Yeah. Right. Dirt, you know, probably, you know, tearing up the city right now, tearing up the world right now. Um, How do you feel about Dirt's success right now, what he's got going on, being probably the top rapper out there, at least one of the top rappers out there holding it down for, for the shot? He earned that, folks. Yeah. He earned that. He he worked for it. Dirty Bear Rapper 10 years, bro. Mm -hmm. 10 plus years. You feel me? Like if you're from the city, you know that. Like right. you you know, you know little dirt from from you feel me a long ass time ago. Dirty ass dirt. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> but no, folks earned that shit. And that's why I fuck with him so tough. Cause you feel me, he ain't have to show me love off back. Niggas ain't show him love off back. You feel me? Right. He worked to his position. Like soon as I got to where I needed to be, folks on my project twice. You feel me? Folks, me and folks got four songs together. Like, you feel me? Out the gate, like early. That's like, Bo ain't have to do that, you know? Right. 
And a lot of niggas was around before him talking about industry people or like people that's from Chicago and that's popping as that knew of me that you feel me could have lent the helping hand or could have supported the cause and didn't. You feel me? So you feel me? I, I forever show a lot of dirt, but you know, he earned that shit, man. Without a doubt. Indeed. What else you got going on, man? You say you're in the studio right now cooking up some stuff, just working on some stuff that you're feeling. You got any visuals coming out? You got any tours going? With, with oh, you? hell yeah. Hell yeah. Me and Fredo Bang finna drop a visual in a minute. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's That was the last one out the, out the black car. I'm having like some little, you know, some little discrepancies and some little disagreements about my project. They snatched it off the streaming services, but you feel me? I'm going to finish the role that I was supposed to, you know? I kind of want to be careful on what I ask. Cause I'm, we're used to talking to OGs that have been through the game already, so they can kind of get a little more raw in what they've been through. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So there's certain things I want to be careful and fucking ask, but there's things I want to ask. I'll, I'll ask this and feel free to not answer it. however you got to do it. The we we see a lot of the drug use in hip hop now, and especially mm -hmm. with the youth, right? And a lot of y'all are going through a lot, and this is why y'all go to it. And I ain't talking about butt or nothing. I'm talking about the harder shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you see a lot of these labels are they in front of it or are they kind of helping y'all in that that's because we, we we throw a lot of responsibility on the label because they see a lot of the young rappers I just, going through it you know go ahead do your thing for the record <laughs> i just smoke i just smoke i smoke weed bro so do we <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm smoking weed right now you know yeah that's it so do we um all the other shit I quit a long time ago, you know what I'm saying? Like during the anxiety tapes or the cattle out tape, we was on was on drink heavy, you feel me? Pouring up, pouring up, pouring up. You know what I'm saying? And um that shit slow your day up. Like once you fix your mental on your own, you feel me, you don't need that shit no more. You really don't. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, but to answer your question. It do help cope with a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? I understand the drug users. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I feel I feel them because you feel me. I felt that before. You feel me? Like you feel me? We've been off that, off, off, off all type of shit. You feel me? Like heavy. You feel me? Like touring, going crazy all through the motherfucking world. So I feel them. You feel me? I know it. But it's better ways. You know, if I was to give advice to uh to my younger shorties or to my other uh. Artists, you know, coping with the drugs, shit. It's better ways. You feel me? Dope. Def definitely appreciate you, man. We got Cowboy here on the Hip Hop Sensor Podcast. Got anything else? No, I'm good, brother. You good? Yeah, man. We know you, hey, you man. We we'll keep you all day. You know what I'm saying? But uh, go ahead and drop your social media, you know, accounts and uh, any other. Oh yeah, uh, it's just Cowboy. You feel me? Everything's just Cowboy. You feel me? Uh, Facebook, Instagram. Twitter one four seven cowboy, you feel me? I'm still one four seven to the death of me, you know. Or, well, you ever if you ever in the South Jersey area, man, we got a studio out here. We love to have you in studio to chop it up more about your life and you know what I mean how you came into the game, man, and things like that. I love to pull uh, up, man. I love to pull do. up for sure. That would be blessed, man. And we we love to have you and we do it the right way. You know what I mean? And get a little more of your life. We yeah. get a little less busy and everything. You know what I mean? We can do our thing. We definitely appreciate your time, yes, sir. Cowboy, yes, sir. on the Hip Hop and Sense of Podcast. Salute, young brother. Keep doing great things, man. I love.